Amazing new time zone and reality, everyone. My name is Vel here at Science Away. Welcome to my Makerspace Makeover Part 4. Today, we're assembling a table. Not just any table, though, a workbench to be more precise. It comes with a pullout drawer, a pegboard, a shelf above the pegboard, and a desk light. Once again, my dad is helping me assemble this, which is good because the instructions recommend you have two people to build this workbench. And it's always nice to have a second pair of eyes looking at instructions. There were a lot of pieces, but thankfully the instructions were really clear on how everything was supposed to be put together. This workbench on a whole was really well thought out. It's heavy too, so when my 3D printer is working or if I'm sanding something, it will barely move, unlike my foldable white table. This is one of the other reasons I got this. The only problem we ran into was putting the light in. On the back of the light, there are two holes you screw into from the top of the upper shelf. One of the holes was stripped, so the screw you put in only went in so far before it got stuck. We couldn't unscrew it to get it out or screw it fully. We decided to just leave it. It'll stay in place with no risk of falling and you can barely notice it anyway. Other than that, assembling this was great. It took us around three hours to assemble. Now that it's built, it's time to arrange my 3D printer, tools, and other objects. I know I said I was looking for a small table specifically for my 3D printer, but the 3D printer only takes up less than a foot of the table space out of a total of four feet. This was plenty of workspace to do what I needed. Whether that's sanding, working on 3D prints, assembling kits, or trying products. Since my 3D printer is on the table, I used one section out of three in the pullout drawer specifically for 3D printing and post 3D printing tools and necessities, such as glue sticks, tweezers, a nozzle cleaning kit, different files, and a hand sander. In the second section of the drawer, I have rulers, safety glasses, and safety goggles, a calculator, flashlights, and a little notepad. In the third section of the drawer, I have my Dremel, a digital pocket scale, small screwdrivers, and an Allen key set. The workbench came with a few different hooks and a screwdriver holder for the pegboard, which was really nice. I put up my screwdrivers, hammer, pliers, and tape measures. The top shelf is great for setting up my webcam and getting top-down views of the work area. You'll see this view in future videos. It's also perfect for holding filament. I absolutely love this workbench. It's got the storage space, a nice big work area, a way for me to get top-down footage, which I've wanted to do recently. I like to see what I'm doing at night and light up the workspace for recordings and space underneath for other storage bins. Big thank you to my dad for helping me assemble this. I'm sure I'll use this a lot. Actually, I already have but you'll have to keep a lookout for those videos. I wonder what's left to do for my Makerspace makeover. I guess you'll have to wait and find out. So make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I post new content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next part of my Makerspace makeover. Bye.